this is John Paul Wright. I'm coming from Tokyo, Japan. I'll be honest, guys. I don't know a whole lot about Wonder Woman. And from what I see these days with the women in movies, especially a new X-Men trailer, where, you know, Raven says as a professor, well, the women do all the saving around here, something like that. Then we have the Captain Marvel trailer where she's, like, breaking the guy's hand and all the other stuff that goes on. Wonder Woman looks great. And this poster, from a design standpoint, looks really incredible. I actually have a... CGI degree in computer graphics, so I'm a designer. I do my thumbnails here pretty quick. If I had actual time to sit down and take like 45 minutes to an hour on each one, that'd be a lot better. Let's not talk about my thumbnails. Let's talk about this. You could see like the W W pattern here. Really subtle. If you squint your eyes, you could see it like a little bit better. Her costume here, guys, I really can't say. This is obviously not Wonder Woman's traditional costume, but I don't kill me. And I know if you happen to be Star Wars for Life watching this video, you might not like this. But I never actually liked the original Wonder Woman costume. The one in the new movies is kind of cool. It's a little bit more rugged and everything. But just like the ones in the cartoon, you know, she kind of had this like flaring colors and everything. And uh, Dave Chappelle actually made fun of Wonder Woman. It was kind of funny, I have to admit. However... I do like Wonder Woman as a character, and I gotta say, I like this new Wonder Woman better than the old Wonder Woman from the comics, and usually, for me, it's kind of the other way around. I usually like the comic version a little bit better than the movie version, but in this case, I think I like this new Wonder Woman better than the comic book version or the cartoon version from Justice League a long time ago. So, I'm not being negative. All I'm saying is, I think Wonder Woman has had improvements, because I wasn't crazy about everything about Wonder Woman in the past. So, let's read a little bit about this article attached to this picture. The image also shows Gadot in a brand new costume featuring a full body suit of what appears to be scale male and shiny metal. So yeah, like I said, I, I really like that. I think that's an improvement for me. The full body coverage and space age silhouette bears a closer resemblance one of the DC Universe's other demi-goddess warriors, Big Barda. I'm not going to click on it. I'll just assume that's somebody in the DC Universe. Than any of the memorable Wonder Woman costume revamps. But if Diana decided to take a page out of Captain Marvel's book for a costume and Thor's book for a color scheme, well, who are we to argue? It looks rad. I don't know what she means by that. Who cares about Captain Marvel? And Yeah, Thor's pretty cool, I guess. But who cares about Captain Marvel? <laughs> All right. So the movie's going to be Wonder Woman 1984. Did I miss something in the poster? Was there also like a hit in 1984? I'd feel like an idiot if I missed it. But anyway... So yeah, that's it. Not a whole lot I could say on this, but looks good. I like it, and I don't think that Wonder Woman is going to be some movie where Wonder Woman puts down men, beats out aliens and stuff that Superman conveniently can't handle or something like that. Looks like it's going to be good. Those are my thoughts. Little quick video here. What can I say? It's just a poster, but it's nice, and I'm doing... Shoutouts, special thanks, things like that. Two ways to do a shoutout right now. I apologize, I apologize. Click that subscribe button if you haven't, and I will see you next time.